everyone, a pleasant Sabbath to you all. Let us pray. The kind of Heavenly Father, thank you for this program and thank you for those those who are viewing this program. Touch the hearts of those who are viewing this program and thank you for your continuous love and protection. Amen. to welcome you to this week's online children's Sabbath school. This week, we are joined by the Port of Spain SD Primary School. Isn't that wonderful? So we have extra people to have fun with and to learn about God together with. Well, they're going to now help me welcome you. <laughs> Port of Spain SD School Warmly welcome you to church today. After see you here. We want you to know the love of God. And still have servants now. For, for you are so special to the Lord. And special to us, too. We pray that you will be blessed 
by the message. I remember God of you. Welcome. 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 Wonderful things, thy counsels of fools are faithfulness and truth. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 1. O oh Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsels of old are faithfulness and truth. Isaiah 25 verse 1. O oh Lord, thou art my God, I will exalt thee, I will praise thy name, for thou hast done wonderful things. Thy counsel of all our faithfulness and truth. Isaiah 25 1. 
Hi boys and girls, so it's now time for our new Bible challenge. Our challenge comes from the book of Philippians, Philippians 4.13. Auntie Angel challenges you to learn Philippians 4.13 and it says, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. All right, boys and girls, so I look forward to your videos next week. The School or Mission Field Eric John Murray, in his book, The History of the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Trinidad and Tobago, states that a training school was established in Port of Spain in 1913. However, a primary school housed at Don Donald Street, Port of Spain, was registered with the government in 1940. The school was relocated to its present site in 1966. Here, it shares the compound with the Cleveland Temple SDA Church. Port of Spain Seventh-day Adventist School has provided the local community with quality Christian education for over 106 years. 
Parents, elect to enroll their children at the Port of Spain Seventh-day Adventist School because of our small size, our ability to offer individualized learning, our Christian emphasis, and our academic achievements. Staff, parents, and students can be proud of their school, their facilities, their accomplishments, and the positive Christian programs that are run each year. AJY Adventist Junior AY Services is conducted every Friday morning. This gives our students the opportunity to develop leadership skills and growth in their Christian experience. Our school chaplain meets with the boys and girls weekly to conduct Bible classes. The school conducts numerous school outings where our students were given the opportunity to explore the wonders of our country and participate in educational enrichment activities. Impact Trinidad Week of Activities met our little school on the hill conducting a week of prayer theme, Obey and Live. This event culminated with four students' baptism and two students making their decision at their local church's crusade. Parents, we want to thank you for bringing your children to our school and entrusting us with them every day. I especially want to thank you for raising such an amazing group of young people that sit among us today. Parents, being involved in their own child's life leads them to more opportunities for success. Many staff and pupils have come and gone. Some have established themselves as outstanding role models in the church and in the community. Port of Spain Seventh-day Adventist School will continue to live up to its motto of preparing its pupils for service in this world and for the higher joy of wider service in the world to come. Thank you, and let us remember that our school is our mission field.
Hello, and I'm Professor Butterfield. My name is Julius, and I will be doing a junior lesson for you today. The name of the junior, junior lesson is No Let's go back to where it all began. God created Adam and Eve. They had a choice to choose between good or evil. They chose to disobey God and went the wrong path, the evil path. But still, God found a way to restore humankind. It was time for Jesus to be born. The mother was going to be Mary and the father was going to be Joseph. And the angel said to them that the baby, Jesus, was supposed to be born in David's hometown. Then something happened. The Roman was offering houses for those mothers who were given birth. And everyone quickly packed up their stuff and went back to their hometown. When Mary and Joseph heard, they also packed up and headed. They were not a small city in Galilee. They had it to go to Bethlehem. So the travelers, when they reached there, they registered like everyone else, and they started to look for houses, but all the houses were full. So, Jesus was born, and she wrapped him up in cloth and left him in a manor. Yes, the, he was born in a stable, because all the houses were full and occupied. Right now it seems that there's no way 
God knows the things that you're going through, and He knows your day. You see, He knows just how your heart has been broken into. But He's the God of the stars. stars of the Southern Caribbean and is married to Annie Marie Deborah Charles, his wife of over 26 years and partner in ministry. He is the proud father of three wonderful and talented children, Anton Charles, Zane Charles and Faye Charles. Pastor Charles has a love for music and football and desires to be caught up with his family. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our speaker for this morning, Pastor Charles.
after this exercise, I have a passage of scripture that speaks to how we can be resilient. And I have it in a rap form that I want us to learn this morning. And as you go throughout this day, I would like you to meet with your, your, your class, um, uh, your, your, uh, your, your friends, and I want you to chant that, 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 that um, passage of scripture right through the day. All right, so we are ready. Now, I will ask you questions and I want you to just give me hand signals. So when I want a hand signal, I want you to wave at me. So are you ready? Just wave at me if you're ready. Just wave at me if you're ready. Are you ready? Come on, come on, come on. Mute your mics, keep your mics muted, keep your mics muted. But let me see the actions, let me, ask, let me see the actions. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are dealing with David today. And I want you to, I want everybody, just pretend like you have a sling in your hands, a sling in your hands, and I want you to swing it now. Come on now, come on now, swing it now, swing it now, because we are going to knock out a few giants today. We are going to knock out a few giants that are, that are, that are, that are threatening us, giants that keep us, keep weighing us down, and those giants, we need to get rid of them, like David. I thank the little one who read the passage of scripture. I know it was lengthy, but you got the whole story, so we're going to do some summary now. All right, let's go. First question. The, over the past two days, we have dealt with two topics, and that, those two topics speaks of being resilient. Can you name those two topics? Let's go. Type in, type in and Miss would give me the first three persons, type in those two topics quickly, quickly. We have 30 seconds to do so. Let's see how well you were paying attention. Those two topics that we dealt with. Let's go, let's go. All right, Miss, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Elena, as soon as you get a response, you could take note. And if there are other teachers who are there, Miss James, take note of those who are answering correctly and I would reward them. Let us go. Do we have any answers? Yes, yes. Yes, Pastor, we have some answers in the chat. Yes, let's go. We have, um, the first one is, okay, the first one is the boy in the fire and baptize, and baptizing. <laughs> All, right. All right, so so they gave me summaries of the topic. All right, you could keep that for now. Any other response? Yes, yeah, so the second one is obedience and repentance. Obedience and repentance. All right, that's parts of it, but I'm looking for something again. Keep those two. Let's do one more. Um, we have somebody saying boys in the fire. They just said that alone, boys in the fire. And then somebody said the three Hebrew boys. All right. So it means that they have the idea as to what we were discussing. But the topic was fire proof men fireproof men remember it remember it fireproof men and yesterday was how to start life all over again so miss we will take the first two uh just take down the names next question next question we are going quickly 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 next question can you tell me list the steps that we discussed yesterday to have a peace of mind there were some beautiful steps that we spoke about and Miss James gave a review of it. Can you name at least two of those steps? If you could name three and if you can name all four, very good. But two of those steps we discussed yesterday. When you're ready, Miss Elena, let's go. All right, so we have Sarah saying pray and repent. Pray and repent. All right, and then we have um, Emilia, but she only gave one, she said pray. Okay. But then we have Maxine saying repent and pray as well. Okay. We have Kalia also saying pray and repent. Wonderful. All right. So we have that popular one. If anybody has something different from, from what is being um, given, I, I see forgiveness. Yes. And somebody, Jamuel, is also saying trust God, pray, repent. All right, so those who have repent, those who have um, forgiveness, you could take those two names, two names out of this, two names. All right, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more, one more. Love one God. More. We are dealing, this morning, we are dealing with giants. And you know, if you ought to be resilient, if you ought to be a yes. tough person, you need to be able to get rid of no, 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 giants. I giants, come on now, don't forget, mute your mics. Future mics, you need to get rid of giants in your life. Tell me, what are some of the giants that you are faced with? Let me see how many of you, just be honest, 
Tell me at least two giants that you are faced with. I can give you one of my giants. One of my giants is uh, procrastination. Sometimes I wait last minute to do things. That's a giant that I'm going to knock this morning. I have been trying to knock it out. Ah, so I want you to tell me, type and let me see how honest you could be and we will take three responses. Let's go, Mrs. Mr. Elena. All right, so we have Zara saying lies and disobedience. Wow, can you write that name down for me? I have a special prize for that person. I love that person. Let's go. Right, then we have um, Sarah saying school, parents, family, work. What? These, are the, <laughs> these are the giants, school. Okay, school <laughs> could be a giant, all right. You have so have, much to learn. Yes, we have Jamuel saying greed and lies. Wow, I love that answer also. So the one, you could write this too. And let's take one more, miss, one more. Then we have Emilia saying, lying, stealing, and no mercy. Oh my goodness, that is, these are such honest answers. So we are on target. So I want you now, let's see if we are going to knock all those giants from the story of, 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 of David. We know that David was a young boy. And do you know that David trusted God just like many of us here, we are trusting God to make us strong. David fed on the word of God. And do you know at an early age, the Bible said that he was in the garden. He was in the field and a lion and a bear approached him and could you imagine this little fellow just getting rid of a lion and getting rid of a bear well these were some of his early giants and later on he was faced with a real giant as we read the scripture reading the bible said he was nine feet plus almost 10 feet tall well your giants of stealing could be as tall and heavy as this giant that is described in the Bible. It may not be a physical human being, but sometimes lying, guilt, and, and fear, those things weigh us down, and it feels like a heavy load. So here is the passage that I want you to get excited over so that we can be resilient brilliant this morning. It's 1 Samuel 17, verse 37. It says, the Lord who deliver me. And here's what, here's what David is saying to this uh, Philistine, that Goliath, this giant. David is saying to him, the Lord who delivered me. Oh, Goliath, you are making, a, you're making fun out of God's people, asking to choose a man and let him come down. It's as if, well, we are children of God and we have no power. You think that you are powerful? Well, let me tell you something. I have news for you. And some of you on listening to me right now, when you are facing those giants, you need to remind yourself of a few things. The Lord who delivered David, and here's the passage, the Lord who delivered me, David said, from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear will deliver me from the hands of the Philistine. Saul then, who was king, said to David, go and the Lord will be with you. Go and the Lord will be with you. So listen, are you ready now for our, 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 our rap? passage. Are you ready? I need you to get excited. Don't put your mics. Don't turn it. Don't. Just mute it. And we're going to learn that passage. One. I want you to clap. One. 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 So the first one is the Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion. Let me go. The Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion. The Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion. That's the first line. Come on now. I want you to sing it at home. Teachers, join me now. The Lord who delivered me from the paws of the... One more time. The Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion. That's the first part now. The second part says, and the paws of the bear. Listen now. The Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear. Come on now. The Lord who delivered me from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear will deliver me 
from the hands of the enemy will deliver me from the hands of the Philistines. The Lord who deliver me from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear will deliver me from the hands of the Philistines. Saul said to David, go, and the Lord will be with you. The last part says, Saul said to David, go, and the Lord will be with you. Let's go from the top. The Lord who deliver me from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear will deliver me from the hands of the Philistine. Saul said to David, go. And the Lord will be with you. Come on now. Go. And the Lord will be with you. Come on now. Come on. Put your hands together. Put your hands together. This is our first rap song. Maybe when school resume, I will come down to Port of Spain and we will do it live. I will bring my sons and we will put some music to it. You know, I have a son who is very creative. So I can hear him putting some rap. <laughs> the Lord to dribble me. Come on, son. Come on, give me a little rabbit. Here. Come on, son. Come. Come on, son. Come, give, come give me a little rabbit. Come on, son. Okay. I'm going to bring him. I'm just putting him on the spot now. I want you to learn that passage of scripture. It's a very good passage. Just stand right there. He's not, he's not dressed properly, but I want him to just come. Give me a rabbit. Come on, son. Come on, son. Lord, who delivered me from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear, will deliver me from the hands of the Philistine. So said to David, Go, and the Lord will deliver you. Go, and the Lord will deliver you. One time, one time. The Lord said to David, Go, and the Lord will deliver you. He will deliver you. Thank you, Anton. Thank you. He wasn't expecting that. He wasn't expecting that. I put him on the spot. But listen, this is a powerful message as to how you and I can be resilient, how we can be tough. When we fall, when those giants wear us down, we can bounce back. Hello. By remembering the God who delivered David and Joseph and all those other men of old. That same God is right in your home with you. He's right in your living room. He's right in your bedroom. So let me quickly just give you three points to remember and we will bring this morning to a close. I want you to know this morning, I want you to know this morning that there are lots of giants. And let me just give you a few of them quickly. You know, you have depression. That's a giant that weigh a lot of persons down. Throughout COVID, depression kept a lot of persons it's like persons were locked down. You heard of persons who took their lives. Yes, depression, they couldn't take the pressure anymore. We had persons who were abused because, you know, persons are home and, and nowhere to go. So it, it, it brought about all sorts of, 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 of emotions in the home and feelings. Right. Listen, diseases, that's another giant. Some persons are sick with cancer, corona. Is killing so many persons. So these are some of the giants. Then I heard some students who were very honest, lying, stealing, even cheating. Do you know that's a giant? You are cheating on exams, or you are, you know, you, you, you are lying to your parents, to teachers. These are giants. Follow me, follow me closely. I'm going quickly so we can come to the end. Then you have what you call um discrimination, and that's a big word. You know, sometimes we look at our our uh, Students might look at other students and say, listen, I don't like this person. I hate this person. You know, it's not nice. We have all sorts of um, comparison going on with each other. Sometimes we compare ourselves. These are giants that cripple us. Then we have a big one, pornography. Listen, these days, as young children, you are on the internet. And this is at your disposal. Sometimes not your fault. You have pop-ups. All those crazy sites, they just open up. This morning, I want you to know that you should be ready to face your giants. Are you ready to say goodbye to those defeat and start a victorious life with God? Are you ready to discover how to face your giants 
and your challenges so that you can become resilient? Are you ready to know the weapons that God has prepared for you and claim the victory? David used a weapon. I want you to see, I want you to know that that weapon that David used. Let's discover your own weapon. So anytime giants show up on your door, anytime giant shows up on your doorstep, first thing I want you to do is to plug into the source of power. I want you to type that in the chat. Type that in the chat. How do I face my giant? Point number one, plug into the source of power. Type this into the chat. Plug into the source of power. Preacher, what are you saying? The Lord who deliver me from the paws of the lion and the paws of the bear will deliver me from the hands of the Philistine. Saul said to David, go, and the Lord will be with you. So where is the source of power? Not in David's strength, not in Goliath's might, but in the power of God. Well, ah, so am, 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 I, am I safe to say that at times, I also need a few things, not just to plug into the source of power, but anytime giant step on, uh, gi giant shows up on your doorstep, I'm trying to rush now, you should do something else. You should choose the right weapon. David's weapon was a stone. What's your weapon today? How could you fight your giants? What weapon do you have? What do you have in your hand? Well, you have prayer. And I heard some persons mention it. That's a powerful weapon when you get down on your knees and you pray. Father, I have been lying and cheating and stealing. That's a giant. It's weighing on me. Help me get over it. That giant, that weapon of prayer, make use of it, young people. Spend time with each other. Encourage each other. Then there's another, another, another weapon you can use, not only prayer, but you can use the stones of the past. God has taken you through things in the past. You need to go back and remember how he has delivered you. And sometimes let those things keep you comforted. So, so how do I get rid of my giant? First thing, plug into the source of power. The power is Jesus. Second thing, choose the right weapon. Type the second one. Second one, I will ask a question. Choose the right, the, the, the right weapon. And two weapons I've given you is the weapon of prayer, and the weapons of past victories. Hear me out now, hear me out. Finally, anytime giant shows up on your door, you should cut off the head of the giant. Now, I'm not sending you to be violent now. I'm not sending you to get weapons, knives and cutlass, but listen to me now, just like David, he cut off the head of Goliath. That was his giant. David ran, took the sword, cut his head off. Here's how I want you to use this illustration. Not a literal knife or cutlass, but I want you to cut off a few things. Listen to me. Cut off evil communication. Cut off lying. Cut off stealing. Come on now, come on now. Here's what you are cutting off. Cut off pornography. Listen, don't be encouraged by friends who will say to you, listen, I have some nice sites that you could go on. And No, 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 no. Cut those things off. Cut off if anybody approach you to do drugs or anything like that. Tell them no. Cut off those things. No alcohol. Cut off dishonesty. Be honest with yourself. Be honest with your uh, 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 students. Be honest with each other and be honest with your parents. Now this morning I felt like I had to rush because we started late. But one more. As we close. Being resilient does not mean that you will not go through hard moments. It only means that you have to keep the right focus so that with every fall, you get up. So the songwriter says, you fall down, but you get up. You can't get up on your own, only Jesus. So how do you get rid of the giants? Come on now, take that sling and let's apply that sling now. Take that sling. You are first, you plug in into the source of power. One, two, you're going to choose the right weapon. What's the right weapon? Prayer, successes of the past. And finally, you will cut off. Come on. Giant cut off head. All those giants, all the lying and stealing, all of those evil things you would want to cut off. So you want to say, 
Pastor, pray for me this morning. Pray for me that Jesus gives me the strength to get rid of those evil traits, those things that just weigh me down. And I want to be preserved. I want to be saved. I want to see you when you come. But in order for that to happen, I need to get rid of giants. Just like we said yesterday, you know, uh, baptism is a wonderful thing. When you are baptized, we say you receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit preserves you. It encourages you. It guides you until that day when Jesus comes. So you want to say, Father, help me knock off those giants one by one. Whatever your giants are, God knows. If you want God to knock off those giants, even now, just wave your hands. Wave your hands. If you want God to knock off those giants that is pressing on you, just wave your hands. Wave your hands. God bless you. Let us pray. Let us pray that God is going to knock off those giants that stands in our way. Father, we thank you for the word this morning. We realize, Lord, that we are pressed down at times with so many circumstances, the hardship of life, the temptations, the, the, the crisis that we go through. Those giants seem to weigh on us. And I can imagine what it was like for David facing a almost 10 feet tall giant. In our day, we would see this as impossible. But David remembered that the God he served gave him power when he was in the field tending to his father's sheep, his flock. God gave him power. So he remembered that stone of the past. Aha. And he used that as confidence to face Goliath. This morning, many of our students, teachers, parents, they are presenting their giants to you. And Lord, this morning, they are using the stones of prayer so that they can get rid of those giants. On their own, we cannot do it. But we thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit that is able to help us get rid of those giants. Get rid of those giants for the students this morning, parents and teachers. Those giants that are making us anxious and we are worried. And Father, we, we, we just want to become resilient, strong, so that when you come, you will meet us in a condition that is ready to be translated, to go to heaven with you. We thank you for knocking off those giants. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen, amen. If you feel like God has knocked out, he has knocked out those giants and you feel light, just give me a wave, give me a wave, give me a wave, give me a wave, wherever you are. Ah, oh, yes, ah, oh, yes. God bless you. Hi everyone, Auntie Angel here and I would like to tell you guys today about the Porter Swain SDA Primary School. Now guys, this school seeks to provide what I would call true education. You see, the focus is not just on this world, but also the world to come. So if you're interested in a high standard of education, I advise you to please go check out their website. Registration has now begun for all of their classes, from infants straight up until standard five. So guys, have a look at their website, please. All the information that you may need will be found there. All right? Bye. Bye. We've come to the end of this week's program. Now, I know that you guys had a lot of fun. And we're so happy that we were able to have the Port of Spain SDA Primary School join us. Boys and girls, it is lovely to meet new people. And it's lovely to share God with each other. All right? So, you face a new week. I hope that you remember that you need, we can be resilient in Christ, all right? We can do all things through Christ, which strengthens us. So have a great week, everyone. I hope to see you next week. Stay good, be blessed. Let's have a word of prayer before we close. Heavenly Father, Lord, we're thankful. Thankful for the time spent with each other and spent with you. We're also thankful, Lord, that we learned so much more about you and your goodness and your love for us and the fact that in you we are strong. Help us to never forget that, Lord. Help us never forget, never to forget that you are made strong in our weakness. So bless us. Bless these children. Bless their families. Bless the church. 
and grant us all a great week ahead and also bless us for the rest of the Sabbath. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great week, everyone. Bye. Bye.